Hi, this is a short documentary about a guy who pushed his brain to the limits with pills, Red Bulls, no sleep to try to learn the sixth hardest language on the planet, German. So it all started because I've always been a huge fan of this language. I follow a lot of artists from Germany. Uh, for example, Krok, who is a guy with the mascara, which by the way, I have the mascara. And I always had this desire of learning the language and finally understand what these people were saying. And I thought, is it possible to learn a language in seven days? So I posted a story on my Instagram. You guys think it's possible to learn German in seven days? More people saying yes than no for some reason. I always thought I was capable to learn a language in a couple days and this was the moment to prove myself I was actually able to do it. The first day I wanted to have an idea of what this language it was like, it was like a little bit like Portuguese, like Spanish, like, uh, I don't know, something. I just wanted to have an idea, but to be honest, I couldn't make it. Like, everything looked so weird. I knew there was something wrong with this language. I knew uh, something was like so, so different, but I wasn't able to understand the reason why this language was so weird. It wasn't until the second day. German was ranked as the sixth hardest language to learn. Next to Arabic, Chinese, Japanese, German was there. And there is a very bad reason why it's there. In German, it doesn't matter the order of the words in a sentence because everything is conjugated. So you can see just by the way it is spelled who is making the action, who is being affected by the action, who is indirectly being affected by the action, and who is the owner of something. Also, every word has its gender, like male, female, neutral, and you have to know from every word, like every word you learn, you have to also learn what gender is, because when you're gonna use it, when you're gonna say something or write something, you have to know the gender of that word to be able to, conju to conjugate and make the sentence and say something, basically. So there is 16 ways to say my, or theirs, or yours. The word the, like the car, there is 16 ways to say that, and all of that counts to conjugate every word. The day three and four were the most productive days in my entire life. I stayed in the computer the whole day, just writing, trying to make a sentence, say something, uh, watching videos, you know, I was doing everything that I needed to do to learn this language, too. and it was because my mental health was on the line. My whole life I heard that you have to call yourself handsome, smart, hard worker. El PNL es un conglomerado de técnicas que utiliza nuestro sistema de creencias y la forma en la cual nos comunicamos para así acceder al funcionamiento de la mente y desde ahí crear nuevos patrones mentales. And I've been doing this basically my whole life. I realized I was being so unstable because of this because I was in a fight in my mind trying to convince myself that I was handsome even though I knew I was not handsome. Because when something happens in your life, like you look yourself in the mirror and you don't look good, it puts you down very quick because you are in a fight, you are being so unstable in this fight, trying to convince yourself. But if you just accept that you're not handsome or something like that, there's no fight, like you just love yourself for the good things and you know you have bad things, like for example, I think I'm smart, I think I'm ugly. But the problem with this is that I was putting my self-esteem on the line on this challenge because if I don't make it, I'm gonna realize I'm not that smart. I'm not gonna have a reason to love myself. I still have a couple reasons, but intelligence was the main one. So it was very dangerous for me to get into this challenge and fail. By day five, I hadn't yet practiced any listening or speaking which is really, really bad. Like there was only three days left and I hadn't practiced any of that, which was very, very important to have the conversation with a German, obviously. I started suffering some panic, uh, anxiety, uh, because every time I look at the time and the date, I knew maybe I wasn't able to do this challenge. 
and I was gonna let myself down. These two days, I watch a lot of uh, songs and the lyrics, videos. I started writing a lot of vocabulary. Hi, du kleines komisches Ding. Hoffe, es ist schön, ihn anzufassen, denn niemand sonst wird es tun. But regardless of all the music, videos, movies, my listening never got any better. The day seven was the day I found that I actually had no chance to make this. And it felt so bad. Like it really, really hurts. I am able to express almost anything in this language. Ich mach Coca-Cola, ich mach Coca-Cola drink. Ich weiß nicht, was es spricht, aber ich kann es spricht. I understand like 65% of what I read, but I don't understand a single word in listening. Nothing, not whatever. The truth is I failed. I'm a human trash. I, I was pretty sure I was so smart and I was gonna be able to do it. The truth is I was not smart enough to make it. So this is week two for me. And you know what, if I don't make it, it doesn't matter because I'll try it again. And if I don't make it, I try it again. Over and over and over again. I am not going anywhere until I make it. So, yeah.